Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life throughout June 2024. I'm going to pull an eight card spread, see who pops up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you, whether it's somebody new or someone you already know right now. My job is to see who you're connecting to this month, what your story is with this person, whether you have a soul contract with this person, see how you both feel about one another throughout June. I'll take a look at some of the challenges you guys may, you know, be dealing with and to see what their true intentions are. Just keep an open mind that I do tend to get very nosy in these readings, Virgo. I don't hold back. I give the good, the bad, and the ugly, and everything in between. Your job is to only take what resonates, leave what doesn't out the door, and to never give your power away to tarot cards. You are in full control of your decisions, and you're never tied and bound to an outcome in a reading, okay? So with that all being said, now let's get nosy. Spirit, please tap into the energy of Virgo today. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Who is Virgo connecting to in June romantically? And can Virgo trust this person's intentions with them? Virgo is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today. As long as what comes through is for Virgo's highest and greatest good. Eight cards spread for Virgo. Who are they connecting to? What's their story with this person? And how will it all play out in June? Two more shuffles. One. Two. Let's rock this and deck for my vivacious Virgos. All right, let's first look at the person that you could be dealing with in June and see how they feel about your connection. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, when the Wheel of Fortune shows up as how someone feels about another person, it's telling me that this person in June might either feel A, that you came out of nowhere and they're like, whoa, what's going on? Or B, that there is something changing within the two of you and they're trying to figure out what that change is telling them, where this change is leading them to next, right? And the Wheel of Fortune is that wheel that's always constantly spinning. Sometimes you're up on the top of that wheel, sometimes you're on the bottom of that wheel. It's just always changing so we can grow and evolve and learn. So this could be telling me that in June, this person feels like their emotions for you is ever changing. It's like, it's never consistent. It, it depends on what you guys are dealing with throughout each day, each week, throughout the month. All right, it, it's definitely telling me that this person feels lucky to have you in their life though, because when the wheel of fortune is in the upright position, it's feeling lucky. It's feeling like, ah oh, man, I'm so glad I met Virgo. Okay, but I don't know what to do with my connection with Virgo is what this person may be saying to me right now. It's like, I know I like them, but what do I do with the connection? What do I do with these feelings? Okay, their intentions. The Empress. So with the Empress as their intentions, that tells me that in June, they wanna nurture this connection in whatever regard. It's like they know that they wanna do something with this relationship and see it go somewhere. They just don't fully know where it's going because of that wheel that keeps on spinning. It's like a merry-go-round or a Ferris wheel. You know, um, you could have met this person during Taurus season. This is Taurus energy coming through. This is fixed energy. So also Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. With two major arcanas coming out right out of the gate, Virgo, it's telling me that this person is coming in with strong energy in, in regards to you. When major arcana shows up in a reading, it signifies some sort of monumental shift in energy. Like someone's going through something monumental around this time, all right? Because major arcanas come in when something is about to change in somebody's life. And you're a part of it because the Wheel of Fortune is all about our destiny, where we're going, where we're meant to go. And this person feels like you're meant to be a part of that path for, in, in some way. Whether you're meant to be on this path for just one month, whether you're meant to be on this path for six years with them, or you're meant to be in this, on this path for life, they're trying to figure out what role you're playing in their life right now because they know it's playing something. Um, they could be very spiritual. I'm getting that they're very sensitive to energy where they felt the day that they met you that you were supposed to like impact their life in some uh, profound way. Let's take a look at their behavior. The Ace of Pentacles. So with their behavior towards you in June being the Ace of Pentacles, it looks like this person really wants to forge something stable with you. Um, for those of you who have been with me for a while, you've heard me say this a million times, but the Ace of Pentacles in a love reading is one of my favorite things to see. Okay, so for the new people, I'll tell you why. You know, too many people jump into relationships based off of the Ace of Wands energy, which is all about sexual attraction, chemistry, physical appearance. But one argument, AKA a rainstorm, that fire is put out, okay? 
two people can't deal with the argument because they didn't build the foundation first. They built it off of lust. The Ace of Pentacles is building a rock solid relationship, building friendship first, getting to know each other first, seeing if you're compatible with each other first before even talking about a serious relationship. A rainstorm comes in, that rock is still gonna be here. The fire pit, that, that blazing fire, Ace of Wands, nope, water puts it out. You know, so it feels like you got somebody in June Virgo that's taking you very seriously, but they're still trying to figure out what to do with the relationship. They're still in that ever-changing, um, all right, I know I want Virgo here somehow, I just don't know how, you know? Is it marriage, is it friendship? Where do I take this relationship with Virgo? I know I need to make some work. Um, uh, that's a lot of earth energy. Okay, so let's take a look at your feelings. If I find out you hate them, I'm gonna be like, Virgo, I'm done with this video, <laughs> all right? How does Virgo feel about this person in June? The Emperor. Wow, okay. We have a divine match here. That could be why this person is going through it right now. They're like, whoa, where the heck did Virgo come from? Why do I feel such strong, intense feelings for somebody? I've never felt this way before. Not to sound cheesy, but sorry, it's coming out cheesy. <laughs> Reminds me of that TikToker. If it ain't cheesy, it won't go down easy. Anyways. Um, I think I screwed that up. It's telling me that you, you want this person, Virgo. You both want each other big time. But this person's like, but how do I want them? You know, you, you may be dealing with somebody that is still trying to register these feelings that they're feeling and they don't know what to do with them. I, I, I've seen this play out before. I'm just trying to remember what the outcome was. You know, it's like being somebody that's all about career and finances and you're like, I don't want to marry anybody. I don't want to find love right now. I'm just all about career. And then do, 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 someone steps into your life and all of a sudden you're like feeling drawn to that person. You just want to see them all the time. You want to be around them all the time. You're starting to feel feelings you didn't want to feel before. And all of a sudden it's like, whoa. This is, this is a great person, but what do I do with it? I wasn't wanting a relationship. I wasn't wanting marriage in this time of my life. What do I do with this? Is what I'm getting off that Wheel of Fortune. It's just like round and round and round. Um, whoa, my energy is like boosting right now. Let's take a look at the challenge. I mean, with the Emperor being your feelings, you're feeling like you're forging something stable and strong with this person. The Emperor is the number four. And the Empress is the number three, okay? They work together as a team. And doesn't matter what gender, but you're coming in as like the, the masculine energy in this situation where you feel like you have to take charge because this person is like all over the place. You're like, all right, let me, let me lead this relationship. You seem to be a little bit caught off guard. You're saying to this person, I will take care of everything. Such a Virgo, such a Virgo thing to say. You guys like to be in the lead because you know you do it well, you know? Let's take a look at the challenge. The Queen of Cups. So with the challenge being the Queen of Cups, it could tell me a few different things. One being, someone doesn't know what to do with the emotions that they're feeling. Because when the Queen of Cups shows up in a reading, it's deep, mature feelings, all right? But when it's in the challenge position, it's the energy of not feeling comfortable accessing those feelings. Or someone, you know, doesn't know how to like, nurture the feelings that they're they're feeling inside and for some there could be another person involved I will have to clarify that maybe there's like a baby mama baby daddy thing going on here for somebody because the Queen of Cups usually represents mother um, or someone grew up not really feeling nurtured by mom and doesn't really know how to nurture interpersonal relationships um, we will dig in don't worry so your outcome in June is the page of swords now, when the Page of Swords, Page, page of Swords, really? P rewind. When the Page of Swords shows up in the outcome position, it's telling me that you and this person are going to get to know each other a lot. A lot. Because the Page of Swords is my student card. It's my 
keeping eye on each other, but not in a creepy way, asking each other a lot of questions about each other. It's a lot of texting, a lot of emailing, a lot of DMing, a lot of social media comments. It's, it's communication. Pages represent messengers, all right? But pages also represent underdeveloped information, um, underdeveloped uh, energies, right? You got the Page of Swords, which is learning about something. The Knight of Swords actually knows information and runs with it. And the King of Swords, Queen of Swords, they're very like really knowledgeable mastering that knowledge. So this person and you are learning about each other. You haven't fully mastered um, what you need to master to fully take this relationship to the next level. So it's showing me that a, a serious relationship between the two of you is pending you guys understanding each other a little bit more. So it's like the month of June is going to be you guys' chance to really talk to each other a lot you know, get to know one another. And then possibly in July, as we dive deeper into Cancerian season, which this is Cancer energy, Cancer season begins end of June going into July, that's when feelings can start to be tapped into. All right, I hope this is making sense. A lot of court energy coming through all of a sudden. Your advice, justice, major for Libra. Your advice is to make sure everything stays balanced, everything is fair, not doing too much, not doing too little, you know, it, it has to be fair, it has to be equal, okay? One person shouldn't be reaching out all the time, one person shouldn't be all doing all the work all the time, it has to be equal in order for this to manifest in the way that you want it to, okay? So just make sure everything is fair. This four major arcanas already, Four major arcanas, and I only have seven cards out. That's more than 50% of the reading, major arcanas. This is not an accidental connection, Virgo. And now, it doesn't mean that you have, to, you have to marry this person. What it's telling me is you guys met for a very important reason. What that reason is, I feel like you'll figure it out. But there could be um, a legal situation involved or karma. What's the overall energy? Knight of Wands, and then I see the King of Pentacles. So with the Knight of Wands as the overall energy influenced by the King of Pentacles, it feels like someone goes back and forth between, you know, taking something serious and then just being all about the fun and excitement. And that could be why I got that Wheel of Fortune for your person's feelings with the, the wheel constantly spinning. You know, sometimes up on that wheel, other times down on the wheel. It feels like you're dealing with someone that wasn't really looking for a serious relationship at the time they met you. And they were like, hey, I just want to have fun. I want to have, you know, just some passion with somebody. I want to feel sexy. I want to be around someone sexy. I just want to have fun this summer. And then you meet someone, feelings start developing, and all of a sudden it turns into oh crap, I don't want my person to ever be with anyone else. You know, feeling more committed to that person, feeling like there's more of a chance of a future with that person, King of Pentacles. And you're the Queen of Pentacles, regardless of your gender. So it's like, what's that saying? Turning a H-O into a housewife? <laughs> turning, turning, you know, an F boy into a, a, a husband. That's what that kind of looks like. Okay, again, it could be a guy or girl. It's just it's showing me someone just wanted to have fun and now it's like, oh crap, I actually want to take this seriously with Virgo is what I'm getting off of this person. So let's break it down. Because I'm looking at this person on a motorcycle and he's only got one room, uh, a, one seat on that bike, meaning he was only making space for just his butt, for just him. He wasn't making space for a relationship. He's not in some sort of sedan where he can have a passenger full time. So whoever this person is, they were actually looking to just stay single and have fun. Until you came along. I'm just trying to figure out how long you have known this person or whether you're about to meet them in June if you're single watching this right now. So I'm going to start with this person's, really? I'm going to start with this person's feelings for you, Virgo. Why the Wheel of Fortune? Why the Wheel of Fortune, please? <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles and the Moon. Okay, but this card wanted to flip out in different directions. It was doing like the little spin thing and then it landed sideways on my, on my uh, shelf. So I'm going to acknowledge it in both directions, upright and reverse. 
the wheel of fortune to the ten of pentacles as feelings that's the energy of feeling like you've met someone that you could actually build a legacy with build a life with maybe even contemplating living together in a house because i see an empty houses and moving boxes and then just as quick as someone's thinking about their future with somebody, they change their mind. Like that wheel I was talking about. Sometimes they're up on that wheel, other times they're on the bottom of that wheel. It's like, it keeps changing. This person keeps on changing what their vision is of the future with you, okay? Which tells me this person needs more time getting to know the two of you's relationship before jumping into something serious. Okay, so that way it, it has a chance. The moon is here. This person's coming in very emotional about you. There's a lot of fears attached to you for some reason. Um, maybe this person's in the energy of, crap, is this where my journey stops? Did I actually meet the one? Empress? I wasn't ready to just stop dating other people. I wasn't ready to settle down. What do I do? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Maybe this person was talking to other people at the time they met you. Um... And then I got the Empress again. So I'm getting a lot of 12th house energy all of a sudden off of somebody. Okay. Getting a lot of 12th house energy off of somebody. The 12th house is all about what's hidden. It's, it's the place of fears and our mental health as well. You know, it's, it's the place where we go and we just drive ourselves insane with, you know, so much thinking to where we feel stuck and lost and confused. Hmm. I'm also getting somebody really focused on their 10th house right now, especially with this card showing me someone hard at work and the 10 of pentacles. A lot of 10th house energy. Someone's focusing on their public image, their career, their money, goals, wanting to have all that settled before getting into a relationship. Let's take a look at your feelings for this person, Virgo. This has a lot of potential. Why the Emperor for how Virgo feels about this person? Ah, jeez. The King of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. King of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. You feel like this person may at times confuse the heck out of you where every moment there it's like something's changing. Okay, one moment they're like, you know what, I could, I could do this. And then another moment they're like, oh, I don't know. It's like you feel like this person's not consistent. Judgment in the death card. It feels like in June you might be coming towards them with this energy of what do you want? Shit or get off the pot. You either want this or you don't. Which is it? Because I'm not playing no games is what I'm getting off of you, Virgo. You're not playing any games. This is you really asking some serious questions, Page of Swords, because you're hungry for the information. You want to make sure that you're not with a time waster. You want fair. And this is strong Scorpionic energy. You know, strong Pluto energy. Pluto is all about endings and beginnings. You're okay with ending something if you feel like there's not going to be, you know, what you're wanting out of it. Um... Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, you're not allowing yourself to stay stuck. Repeated eights and we're in the year of number eight. And the death card is the number eight as well. That's three eights right here. Three eights. Okay. Some of you guys could be in your personal year number eight, life path number eight. Let's take a look at this person's intentions with you, Virgo. They've got good intentions. Intentions and behavior is very important to me in a reading. Why the Empress as their intentions with Virgo? Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups. This person wants you. This, want, this person wants you, but I feel like they're having trouble accepting that they want you. It's like, oh, how can I explain this? It's like, this person's in this energy of, why can't this person come into my life five years from now when I get my 401k all set up or my retirement or this is someone that's really career focused with that 10 of pentacles. This person wants to like be all about themselves, but you can't help who you fall in love with. You can't help when it comes in. I mean, it just, it feels like this person intends to take it slow page of pentacles, even though their end game is the 10 of cups. I feel like at the start of this, they didn't really know what their end game is, but the more they start to develop feelings, the more they want to express them to you. 
So I feel like over time, this person is going to slowly release emotions from, you know, their heart. Why is the Queen of Cups here in the challenge? Maybe an ex did them dirty. I don't know. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Queen of Cups. The Seven of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. Look at that. For those of you who are dealing with a third party, this person may be confused about options. But there's no comparison to the Empress and the Queen of Cups. You know? One is like maybe very compatible. The other one is just someone that some of me have already developed feelings for. Now, if there's no other person in the mix, Virgo, this could be telling me that there's something to do with mother with that empress being here that's affecting this ace of pentacles, ace of pentacles. And I feel like this person's going to open up to you about something. Maybe they did have someone that they thought was going to be the end all be all and it ended up not working out. And that's why they're scared that this is going to also be not something that actually goes the distance. Maybe they felt this feeling before. Um, it's going to be different for many Virgos. But with that Empress Ace of Pentacles being here, and I got the Empress Eight of Pentacles right here, that's strongly telling me that the, the intentions and the behavior is matching what someone wants to see manifested. Um, that Tower, Queen of Pentacles... For some of you, they feel like you may have came out of nowhere and it's really like confusing them on what to do. They had like a, a path that they had visioned for themselves and now this kind of changes their path. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles as their behavior with Virgo. The Devil, Six of Cups. This is someone that's wanting to take things slow because they went through a toxic past relationship or something from their past was very, you know, reckless, very um, unhealthy for them. And then I see the emperor. So Virgo, you may be dealing with someone who is still getting over an ex or something to do with an unhealthy relationship with a mother figure, whether their own mother or an ex. That's what I'm getting. And if this is a woman that you're connecting to, it could be telling me that your person is struggling with tapping into that femininity, which is all about nurturing and being open with love and care. Someone may be struggling with that for those who are dealing with a woman. Okay, but there's no genders in my reading. It could be taken in any direction. The outcome is the Page of Swords. The outcome is incoming text messaging that really open someone's mind to something, give someone the actual clarity to what's going on next. Page Swords is just really like learning. It's also watching somebody. Page of Swords is my tarot reading watching card. So getting information even from third sources, third party sources like Facebook, Instagram, friendships, mutual coworkers, things like that. Why the Page of Swords? The Ace of Pentacles. And the lovers, yeah, and the magician, and the temperance. It looks like the end of the month, there's just going to be some questions that you both are going to ask each other, Page of Swords, and it's going to help someone to make a choice with the lovers. The lovers card is all about choices in regards to a stable opportunity, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. And don't they look together like a love tree? Look at that. Looks like a little love tree. K-A-I-S-S-I-N-G. <laughs> um, so Virgo, someone here is wanting a relationship with you, but they're also scared about wanting a relationship with you, okay, because of a past situation that led them down or just not really looking for it at the time they found you, okay? Your advice is the Justice card. Now, if you're dealing with a no-contact situation, Virgo, or a situation involving things that are complicated, I will pull your person's hidden feelings for you at the end of the reading. Because this, this feels like I'm dealing with a Virgo that just met someone not too long ago and you guys are falling for each other. Why the Justice card? Judgment in reverse, Nine of Swords. Okay. Listen to your judgment. Don't go, don't go against your judgment. And if you feel like this person is not using their judgment, call them out on it. It has to be fair. It has to be equal. 
both parties need to feel like they're getting treated with respect and, and what they deserve, okay? Let me clarify this energy and then we'll pull the hidden message. But it looks like someone wants you like you wouldn't believe. That they're trying to figure out why they want you so badly and why this is all happening the way that it's happening. The sun and the page of swords and the high priestess. Look at that. This is a happy person. They're very happy and they're page of swords in you right now. Keeping an eye on you, learning about you and you learning about them. So it feels like, you know, you may have a spiritual connection here with that high priestess. Or this person keeps things to themselves until they actually know what they need to say. It's like less is more for this person. They're the type that will not tell you how they feel until they actually know how they feel. They're the type that won't offer you a commitment unless they full, fully, really fully feel like a commitment is deserved here. All right. They don't speak for the sake of speaking. For zodiac signs you could be dealing with in this reading, I have Gemini, I have Aries, I have Capricorn, Leo, Pisces, Libra, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. It could be anybody though. Don't focus on the gender or uh, the zodiac. Please rock that like and subscribe button if you're a girl Virgo. And if you like the book of private reading, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below of every video. Um, I go live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with the All Signs Their Feelings for You spread where I show my face. I'm more live and interactive. I will link in the description box below this video the most recent All Signs reading I did because that's good for the whole week. It's, it's brand new. I just did it. Um, just look for the Virgo timestamp so you don't have to watch the whole three and a half hour friggin' live stream. I love you but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. Letting you down was the worst decision I made. I kept up a facade to the world, but you saw it past that into my soul. All right, Virgo, I'll check back with you in a few days for your next weekly update. Do rock that notification bell. Select all notifications so that you are alerted the moment I post or go live. All right, love you. Take care. Namaste.